Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. The big news in the latest WBO rankings for heavyweight is Daniel Dubois leapfrogs Joseph Parker, goes from three to number two, now puts himself in line for a potential shot at Alexander Usyk should the WBO belt become vacant. And what situation would bring that about? Well, effectively, if uh, Alexander Usyk forces his mandatory, Anthony Joshua doesn't comply and say goes off to face Tyson Fury and is forced to drop the belt. It's hard to say if that is uh, going to happen because obviously it's boxing. Nothing really is guaranteed. Signals from Joshua in the past have suggested that he wouldn't drop um, any of his belts. He wants to keep them together. But that has been thrown out there as a possibility in the last week or so by Joshua's promoter, Eddie Hearn. But of this news, so Daniel Dubois gets to number two. How did that happen? Effectively, no one is really fighting at the moment. Most of the top guys uh, that are ranked or even some of the uh, mid-tier guys who are sort of um, between about 5 and 15 here in the rankings for the WBO, inactive at the moment due to the pandemic. But Daniel Dubois had a run out against uh, Ricardo Schneiders. It was uh, two rounds of nonsense. It was an absolute mismatch, but he was active. And I know some people are going to um, uh, sort of question how he can sort of climb on the back of that fight. But uh, it's the WBO, latest rankings. Frank Warren, Dubois' promoter, is quite tight with them. Boxing moves in mysterious ways. Daniel Dubois, now number two, uh, behind Alexander Usyk, who has the WBO mandatory position, which um, he's reaffirmed he is going to push for. There is going to be no step aside. He doesn't want to give Joshua or you know his promoter, Eddie Hearn, any leeway. He is co-promoted by Matchroom, but his other you know promotional outfit is pushing the envelope, saying, look, it's been a year. He's been mandatory for that time. We want the shot. And if it's not Joshua, it's going to be the next man in the queue. And at the moment, that's Daniel Dubois. So a lot of people will be interested in this fight if it were to occur. And Frank Warren, I'll get to his comments because this has obviously generated an immediate response. So he says, if there was a, a, a vacant belt, we'd go with that fight. Obviously, Daniel is a much bigger guy than Usyk. But Usyk has got tremendous experience and he's very capable. He's had fights at heavyweight now, as we know, a former cruiserweight. I think Daniel, with his youth and power, it wouldn't be an easy fight, but I'd fancy him to beat him. When you have a talent like Daniel, the individual route to a world title becomes less important. Before long, he'll be at the top of all the sanctioning body's rankings and everyone will be running scared from him. If it's AJ's WBO title, so be it. They've sparred before, and Daniel held his own. As I've said before, I'd make that fight tomorrow. So Frank Warren there saying Daniel Dubai is more than ready and more than able to fight Alexander Usyk, and he's ready for a title shot if and when it becomes available. And I've said for a while, the WBO always looked likely to be the most viable route for Dubois at this point. I think Warren is uh, right that over time, Daniel Dubois will climb up the rankings. He is ranked across different sanctioning bodies, but the WBO stands out as one where there is a title shot that could come probably sooner than other avenues because he was number three. And now with the latest rankings update, he becomes number two. So should uh, uh, the belt be vacated, it would be Usyk versus the next contender, which is current Daniel Dubois. And of those statements saying he's very confident, he sparred him before, they'd make that fight tomorrow. You know, I'd like to see that fight. I think many people would look at this and go, is it too soon? Is Daniel Dubois going to be able to combat the movement? Is he going to be able to deal with all those angles and the, the things that Usyk does that um, Daniel Dubois hasn't seen as a pro? Obviously, they've sparred before, so he's got an indication of uh, what Usyk is capable of. But getting in the ring and doing it is a different story. But then again, Daniel Dubois being a massive puncher, that obviously can be a game changer, as we know. And he is a guy at, what, 22 years old? who's continuing to get better and better so he's in his fourth year of being a pro and he has been getting better although some of the recent opponents haven't been much chop since the Gorman win it's kind of been a bit downhill but that doesn't mean that Daniel Dubois isn't capable of winning that fight although I think a lot of fans would be leaning towards Alexander Usyk because of his experience and Usyk has fought a lot of big guys before especially in like the World Series of Boxing etc so it's not foreign to him to face a big guy who 
who's also a big puncher. And as we know, Alexander Usyk, a very confident character, and he's uh, reiterated that he wants his title shot and he's not going to uh, just let Anthony Joshua or Kubrat Pulev or whoever has the belt at the time just go off and do their own thing because he's been mandatory for a year now. But if this fight was to become available, yeah, I'd want to watch it. I think there's a lot of interesting storylines and I think people would debate who is the favourite here. I think a lot of people would uh, lean towards Usyk because of his experience and Daniel Dubois being quite young and raw. But the younger, fresher guy, I mean, we don't actually know what Alexander Usyk with all the inactivity and the injury of late. Has he lost the step? Is there? It, it is sort of coming to a point in his career because of all the wear and tear. We have to start asking some of these questions. Is he going to be slowly on the decline? Because his style does rely heavily on athleticism with the movement, the angles. It is one of these things, if he starts to uh, lose a step, he becomes a much uh, more beatable fighter than the guy who looked invincible to some extent at cruiserweight and as an amateur. But, you know, there's, it's an interesting fight for a lot of reasons. And uh, Daniel Dubois clearly is wanting this sort of opportunity. I don't think he's going to get any sort of voluntary shots from the champions. He's going to have to go down some sort of mandatory route or getting a vacant title shot, that sort of thing. Because I think in the next couple of years, the other mandatories and the other divisions or the champions, um, just the backlog of fights... Getting in the queue is half the problem at this stage. So this would seemingly, if there is a vacant belt, uh, be the shortcut to that. But there's no guarantee that Joshua will vacate. But for the moment, he's leapfrogged Joseph Parker. And some will say, well, Parker has done more than Dubois. What has Dubois done to climb up to number two? But I guess of um, at the moment with the pandemic, the activity. I mean, no one else is fighting. So he's the only guy out of the top 15 that's had a fight in the past, uh, what, couple of months. So yeah, it, it, to some extent, he's taking advantage of this timing and he's gotten above Parker. Parker is in discussions to have a fight with Junior Farr. So I guess there is the sort of scope for Parker to leapfrog Daniel Dubois again. But given Frank Warren's in with the WBO, I'm not so sure that would happen regardless if Parker fights far and beats him. And some of these things can be about timing because if Joshua was forced to drop that belt, uh, it could just be um, Dubois as Johnny on the spot to pick it up in terms of a vacant opportunity. But what do you make of it all? Alexander Usyk and Daniel Dubois, a potential fight becomes a talking point now. It's not guaranteed. We don't know what's going to happen with Joshua, the WBO title. Will it be vacated? Will he hold on to it? How will things be wrangled? At this sort of current sort of stage with the pandemic and uh, fights being pushed back at the top, a lot of things could happen and nothing is set in stone. So drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared. I'm out.